So this is the smartest path to making $10,000 a month in 2023. And let me guess, you're expecting me to give you some magic pill that's gonna make you rich, guaranteed. You're expecting me to give you the cheat code, the tricks, and this is the root of your problems. Because you want to look at every single direction except directly at yourself. So as the title of this video suggests, I am gonna show you the smartest route to making $10,000 a month in 2023. Not the fastest, but the smartest. And my friend, it all starts with you. Now, Abraham Lincoln is often quoting for having said, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six sharpening my ax. And it's time for you to sharpen your ax. And that ax is you. And it all starts with a protocol that I formulated a few years back called monk mode. 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 This is the same system that thousands of people have used to turn their life around. Now, I know that some of you guys still want a game plan on what business model to actually get to 10K a month. So I'm going to leave in the first line of the description, probably my most well-received video I've ever posted. Basically, I compared the most common seven to eight business models out there and created the money making matrix. And depending on your strengths, your weaknesses, whatever it may be, it basically shows you which model you should move forward with. So I'll leave that as the first line in the description. But now for the true meat and bones of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to execute monk mode in 2023. The first seven to eight days of every year is a write off because my birthday is on the 3rd of January. But immediately after that, I went on to do monk mode for six weeks in the beginning of 2022. So I can tell you after being in self improvement for eight years after having businesses for six years, I still implement this stuff to this day. So ladies and gentlemen, what is monk mode? Now monk mode is a period of immersion and I recommend no less than 21 days and no longer than 90 days. If you do anything less than 21 days, you're just simply not going to feel the effects. And if you try to do anything longer than 90 days, you're going to start to get serious FOMO and you're going to start to feel like this is difficult. This is hard. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm missing out on life, all of this stuff. And the thing is, monk mode is a tool that I have used for years and it's a tool that I want you to continue to use for years and years. So I don't want you to have all of these negative negative associations around it. So that's why for most people that have never done it before, I recommend just start with a 21 day protocol. Now, the true beauty of it is that you can actually do 21 days. And then at the end of it, you know, you can take a couple days to party and relax and enjoy and then go straight into another cycle of monk mode. Or you can finish the 21 days and go, wow, I feel a lot of momentum. I feel great. I'm going to do another 30 days. And I know that a lot of people go, no, you should set your aims high and all this stuff. I personally believe getting your confidence up and sticking to your promises is the most important thing thing in life. So I would much rather you do 21 days, realize hmm, that wasn't actually quite bad. And then just extend from there rather than trying to commit to 60 or 90 days from the jump. Now I created the monk mode protocol like Lego blocks. When I formulated the protocol a few years back, I didn't want it to be frigid. You know, there's similar protocols out there, for example, like 75 hard. And I have the utmost respect for not only the protocol, but all the people that go through it. For me personally, I just think flexibility is important sometimes. And it's important that there's your non negotiables. And then there's other variables that you stack on top because everyone's journey and what people are trying to accomplish is very different. You know, the bodybuilder is trying to accomplish something very different compared to the person who runs a company and has employees and you know is just really trying to focus and scale the company all the way to the people who work jobs that they're very happy in, they're very content with their career, but they just want to feel more stillness, more calm, more presence in their life. And that's why I built the monk mode protocol the way I did. So that way it serves you the best. But the monk mode protocol is predicated around three non negotiables. It seems simple, but that is the beauty of it. Now, the first non negotiable is 10 minutes a day of meditation. And let me warn you for the first 10 days, you will not notice a single difference. Then roughly around 10 or 14 days in, you'll notice something funny starts to happen. You'll start to be more cognizant of your thoughts. You'll start to notice your monkey brain. You'll start to notice those times where you feel pain, you feel doubt, you feel uncertainty, you feel like maybe you can't accomplish the things that you want to do. And the old you, the old you before monk mode would have reached for your phone or a video game or tried to distract yourself or put some music on. Or unfortunately, as is ruining so many men out there would use that pain and that discomfort as an opportunity to close the blinds, put something on your phone that you probably shouldn't be watching, do the deed for five minutes and live in shame. And on the spectrum of emotion, shame is the worst thing that a person can feel. Shame is fundamentally, I am a bad person. And they do that multiple times a day. They reinforce that multiple times a day as a coping mechanism because they want to run away from their fears, their problems and their self doubt. 
So I'm gonna tell you, meditation might be scary for some of you guys because you'll notice your monkey brain. You're gonna notice your demons, but other beautiful things are gonna happen. You're gonna notice that when you go for a walk, you don't need background music. You're gonna notice that you can just sit with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in silence, hearing the wind blowing, and you can just sit comfortable with yourself. You don't need to run away from yourself anymore. You and you are on the same team. Meditation is by far one of the best habits for anyone that is trying to build a business or just accomplish anything that they want in life, become the man that they want to be. You know, let me ask you a question. Where's your phone right now? Let me guess. It's probably right by your side. And I can guarantee for a fact, it's not on do not disturb. You know, how many times have you picked it up in the last 60 minutes to check social media and then realize midway through while you're scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or whatever it may be, why did I pick up my phone? Why did I feel this weird urge to just pick up my phone and distract myself? Ladies and gentlemen, remember the quote from Lincoln. You must sharpen your mind. You must break free from these addictions holding you from the person that you could be. Ladies and gentlemen, they want you scrolling on TikTok. They want you numb. You say you would never touch drugs, but you are just as addicted as the addicts that you say you will never become. You must meditate and you must face your demons. Now, the second non-negotiable is 30 minutes a day of exercise. Now, before you tell me, oh, but what about overtraining? If I train every single day, seven days a week, just stop it quiet your mind. I don't care if you go for a walk. I don't care if you go for a swim. I don't care if you train until failure. I don't care if you do yoga, just exercise. A strong mind is nothing without a strong body. The two are symbiotic. They go hand in hand. And once again, this is the beauty of monk mode. It really depends on your goals. I think for most of you, I would recommend train heavy, train hard three to four times a week. And then in the days between, go for a walk, do some stretching for 30 minutes, do some yoga. Sitting down and staying static is one of the worst plagues of the modern era. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not meant to be sat idle all day. God brought us on this earth to hunt, to move, to stretch, to run, to walk. And ladies and gentlemen, we can both understand that there is no amount of money on earth that is worth sacrificing for your health. So in the same way you must train your mind, you must train your body. And let me tell you the beautiful thing. Once you start doing this for long enough, it seems so weird not to do it. You know, I always say the 30 minutes of exercise is a non-negotiable for monk mode. And I just want to throw this little caveat in. It's actually not one of my non-negotiables because for me, it is personally harder to not exercise than it is to exercise. And that's where the real beauty of it. Difficult things are only difficult when you are trying to ingrain them as habits. When they're habits, it's harder not to do them. And I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I'm not perfect. The one thing that I struggle with out of all these is meditation. You know, meditation is something I will do for long periods, obviously, whenever I do monk mode, and then I'll fall off it. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, I'll look at it. and I'm like, Oh, this is so weird. I'm just listening to like more music, you know, even while I'm brushing my teeth before bed. And you know, I'm checking my phone more often. And I feel just kind of more on edge, you know, how odd how strange is this? And it's like, well, duh, what do you think, dummy? What's the one thing you haven't been doing for the past few weeks? So I don't want to sit here and pretend that in my entire life, I'm perfect. But that's really the beauty of monk mode. When you're doing monk mode, it's just like this ritual. It's this promise you've kept to yourself. And it's so exciting as well, because it's like, I don't know, you've just made a commitment, you're sticking to it. And that's why I don't care if the year is 2023. I don't care if the year is 2040, I will be doing monk mode. And I'll be using monk mode as a tool to accomplish my goals for the rest of my life. Now, the next non-negotiable is no alcohol or no weed. It's tempting sometimes, isn't it? When things get tough, it's tempting that there's just something you can drink or something you can smoke. And it just seems like all of your worries, all of your fears, they just evaporate. It's so easy just to run away, to run away from your problems, to run away from your mind, a simple drink, a simple smoke, just a simple remedy to your pain. But my friend, you're running away from who you could become, the man that you could be. And you know, it's funny, whenever I say this non-negotiable to people, everyone seems to understand and agree. Yeah, of course, no alcohol, totally understand, totally get it. But then there's some small subsection that's like, no, no, you don't understand weed. It makes me creative. It makes me sleep better. They start coping and they start coming up with these excuses. I don't want to hear your excuses anymore. How many times have you told yourself the same old lies? Listen to me. 
Can we stop playing this game now? Can we stop playing this game where you lie to yourself, where you cope, where you tell yourself, no, video games is a chance for me to socialize. It's a chance for me to hang out with my friends. Weed, it just, uh, you know, it makes me creative or it helps me sleep better. Can we stop playing this game? I feel like we've been playing this game for enough years now, haven't we? So enough with your excuses. That is the third and final non-negotiable. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you look at that and you go, wow, okay, so he's telling me 10 minutes a day of meditation, 30 minutes a day of exercise and no alcohol or weed. Groundbreaking. And the funny thing is the people that are saying that, I guarantee that 98% of them couldn't even commit to that properly for 21 days. Now, this is where the true beauty of monk mode kicks in, because this is where you start to stack your own variables. Now, your own variables can depend on what are you trying to achieve right now? Now, maybe for you, that might mean, and I've done this quite a lot in my different monk mode protocols, committing to praying once a day. Maybe for some of you guys that are trying to work on your social skills, maybe that might mean that every single day you commit to going up and speaking to one girl, even if it's literally to give her a compliment, to say hi, to whatever it is, just socializing. For some of you guys, you are so stuck in your head. You do not even know how to socialize and speak to the opposite sex. And by the way, when I say that, I'm not trying to shame you because it is a skill and it's something you have to learn. It's, it's funny, back in 2015, 2016, I used to do that. Before I was ever doing monk mode, I used to make commitments to myself. Hey, I need to speak to at least three strangers today. Even if I just give them a compliment or ask them what the time is or, or whatever it may be. You know, even when I used to go to gym when I was 15 or 16, I would make it a point to even just speak to at least one new person when I went to gym, obviously without interrupting or annoying their workout. So whatever area of your life you feel like you're lacking, you know, maybe for you, that might mean that every single day you need to call at least one of your old friends. You know, my next monk mode protocol, I might make that as one of my extra variables. You know, my life is so hectic. It's so busy right now. I don't have the time to call old friends, but let's be honest, really, that's just an excuse I'm telling myself. So as I said, that's why I get so excited, so amped about monk mode. No matter if it's you on the other side of the screen or it's me, we both have a chance to hold ourselves accountable. And I'm just going to leave on screen 10 other suggestions or examples or things that you could commit to for the other two variables for your monk mode protocol. So at the beginning of this video, I made you a promise that this is the smartest path to reaching $10,000 a month in 2023. And it truly is because all these other people think, oh, I have the tactics, I have the tricks. It doesn't matter. They're going to spin their wheels again and again and again, because they may have a strong game plan for what they're going to do. They're going to sit, they're going to work for two minutes, and then they're going to go, this is hard. This is uncomfortable. What am I used to? And they're going to use one of their coping mechanisms. They're going to use one of their tactics. So you must sharpen the ax first. And that ax, my friend, is you. So on that note, I say this from the bottom of my heart. This is your year. I am rooting for you. You have been lying and making excuses to yourself for years, if not decades. Enough is enough. Now it's time to go seize 2023.